Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm just on my way to work right now. I'm gonna work today and then go straight from work and do the three hour drive up to the farmhouse. The average low temperature for this time of year, beginning of January here in Minnesota, uh, for today is eight degrees. Right now it's 34 degrees outside. If we can stay mild for a few more weeks, the temperatures start warming back up again. Well, work is done. I'm about two hours into my drive up north. When I left work, it was 34 degrees. And now up here, it's down to 23. the snowmobile trails. Well, it was kind of late when I got up here and then Melissa and I watched uh, Planet of the Apes the war for the Planet of the Apes, I think it was called. So I've just been hanging out with her. I just now came out here and I brought a bunch of stuff up here to put into the workshop. A bunch more stuff to go up here on the shelves. I brought up the spindle sander that you guys saw in a previous video. On my way home from the farmhouse just a few days ago, I, uh, on Marketplace, there was this deal on this uh, belt sander, so we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. What are you sniffing at, Joni? Melissa and I are just about to do chores, but tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to come out here and start the wood stove and get a few things done out here. Okay everyone, it's about a quarter to 11 right now. We're just about to go to bed. We were out here earlier and did chores, but I didn't grab the eggs. There are four of them out here. I see you're still squawking. Okay, everyone, well, I'll see you guys in the morning. I hope to get up and get that wood stove started. Good morning, everybody. It's a little after seven o'clock right now. Just coming out here to start the stove so it can warm up for a couple hours, well, at least an hour. It is. 21 degrees outside. Oh, it's just getting up to 500 now. Shut the damper down. That takes about probably six or seven minutes before you can just walk away from the stove.
I just come out here to check the stove and wanted to see how this thing works. I think I was saying last night that I found this on Marketplace, picked it up on my drive home last time, and uh, I've got two of these at the Hobby Farm Workshop. One of them is this brand name, and there's another one. I don't know what, I've had that one for a long time. I bet you 15 years or longer, and that one is getting pretty, pretty old, but this one, the one that's like this, is maybe eight years old, I suppose, and it works real good. I mean, these are only about $100 to $120 new, uh, but it was for sale for 40 bucks, so I thought that was a super good deal. Seems to work really good. I normally hardly ever use the disc sander part of this, but uh, I think my other one, both of them, I think this is broke off, so. This is just an old piece of sandpaper that was taken off of one of the ones at the Hobby Farm Workshop, but I just threw it on here so I could just see how everything works. The motor seems strong. It doesn't die down or anything when I put pressure against it. That's a pretty good deal. Let that go a little longer. It's 44 degrees in here now. I was just in there with Melissa for a while. We watched the end of a movie we started watching last night. It's up to 62 in here now. Feels good. Today we're going to have another breakfast for lunch. She's going to make eggs and I suppose grits, sausage. These are those two brackets that I bought to uh, help hold that stove pipe. And tomorrow there's supposed to be winds that are up to 40 miles an hour. So, Although they, it already survived 60 miles per hour, but I might put these on anyway later. without several different types of wire. I'll go inside and see how lunch is coming. Melissa usually likes to eat around 11.30. Should we go inside, Joni? Come on, let's go. We have regular Jimmy Dean sausage right there, and this is sage, which I've never tried before, but I like sage. Melissa cooked the bacon two different ways. She likes it hard and crunchy, and I don't, so wow, she's being nice today. 
It doesn't have to go on. <laughs> is done. That was pretty good. And I ended up just sitting there with Melissa for a while. It's only the stove was really dying down. It's 63 degrees in here right now. Well, these things are in now, and you might wonder why a little shelf. I guarantee it. I've got uh, I've got these at the hobby farm workshop. I had them in the house before that. They keep moving along. Used to have four. Now I'm down to three because I sacrificed one because the old ones were the hard plastic and they would crack, and you had to have one to have some more bins. But you'll be coming in here looking at stuff, and you'll find something. Okay, I need this one, and you'll want to set it down until you find the other one, and you'd have to walk somewhere. So. Even at the Hobby Farm one, it's right down, there's just a little <laughs> shelf there and it gets used a lot. I just ran inside for about, I don't know, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and uh, now it's up to 77 degrees in here. It takes some time, but it does warm up. What I want to do, we talked about this before, I want to fit this this one's nice because it has a ledge on both sides. I want to try to fit a 
piece of plywood in between there versus this going over the top. And I have to look at it because I was just wondering Well, that's level. I was wondering if this whole center was dropped three quarters of an inch. I would then do plywood from here all the way over to that one and just have a plywood center. But it doesn't work that way. It, it curves down here because this is almost level. So I'll just fit it in here. This is down farther. There'll be some shimming to do. But uh, this is just, I, I don't like this at all. So let's see what we can do. If I like how this turns out, then I will eventually get rid of this kind of plywood and get regular plywood, not this oxboard stuff. But for now, at least we can see what it's like. Well, this side is definitely low. It's almost a half inch low. And it makes the plywood kind of do this. So I definitely want to get this up a little bit. So instead of putting a shim in several places, I'm going to try to run this ribbon around across here to help hold that up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen me use a ram set before for shooting into concrete. They work pretty good. I don't know how good it's going to work on this old of concrete, but we're going to find out. That don't seem too bad. Well, it held good most of the way. Over here, it tended to crack out the concrete, so I just put a block down there. If I like this, I'll get this all in good with the new plywood, and then I'll screw everything down. Uh, it'll be more secure, but for now, this will be just fine. It's not like you can fall anywhere. This side it gets really messed up. I mean, it really drops down there, and uh, I'm just not real sure. I wanted to try a different approach here just to see how easy or how hard it is. I could cut it, but that is some hard concrete. That's been there a while. I think my best bet is to still stick with putting something along the side versus trying to do that the whole way. my head on this for about an hour now. 
and I'm just going to have to do the best I can do because you can see this here, which is already a little bit high. Look how low it is over there. Somewhere there's going to be a slope, and I'm sure that they scratched their heads too and said, screw it, let's just go over the top. And I don't, I mean, we're going to have a low spot. If worse comes to worse, I'm going to have to build up from like here up. And this piece of plywood is going to have a slope. And if it bugs me too bad, I will, I'll build a workbench here. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure out something. Right now I'm just trying to get this next eight footer put in here. And then I'm probably not going to do any more with the floor tonight. I'd like to do some sweeping in here or something different. I just want to sweep this area. I'm going to be heading back tomorrow afternoon. I'll head south. And uh, I think I have one more day, Monday, and we'll be done with this one job that I'm doing now. And then it's actually going to be a couple weeks before the next, the next one starts, which is, uh, oh, it's like an addition on a house. So I'll have a little more time up here, and we can do some more. As far as this floor goes, that stuff is fitting in there pretty good. But when I get into this part right here, there's no way for me to get down. You can just see the concrete just dumps right here. This will be able to go down. So what I'm going to do is all solid block underneath here. And I mean, when I, you know, I'll cut the real plywood so everything's tighter. I might even just cut it across like this and put the block in. Anyway, I'm, I'll probably, we'll see how everything turns out over there. I might have to come in here and pour some uh, self-leveling concrete through here just to come up to the wood. Something like that has, uh, it can give a little bit. You can't just put concrete on here. It would just crack right up. So we'll see what it looks like when it's done. I need to be able to move these tools around and not hit a thing on something like this or somebody comes here and trips. So we'll see uh, what we end up with. I have to say that that is much better than that. Well, it's five minutes after 11. We're just about to go to bed. I decided to come out here and load that stove all the way up and shut all of the drafts down. The damper is shut down, and I'm going to see what it's like in the morning. 
I do that at the hobby farm uh, wood stove and in the morning there's still coals. All I have to do is put some wood in there and it fires right back up. I still need to grab the eggs. <laughs> Looks like we have four eggs today. <laughs> I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. Just a little bit after seven o'clock. Some light snow was falling. It does not feel very warm in here. It's 47. It's 25 degrees outside. Oh, <laughs> I guess it does shut down quite a bit. It shut down so much that it's just smoldered all night. I know in a previous video I talked about how there's no way I'd be able to shut the stove down without having a damper on top. I guess I take that back. And that thermostat on top is saying it's about 1050 degrees right over that converter. The five deer there, and none of them are the earless doe. Well, it's nine o'clock, it's up to 61 degrees in here. I'm not even gonna do much out here. I just, you know, opened up the air and put one more log in there. I'm actually gonna start my truck right now. I need to run into town. We're gonna barbecue something. We haven't barbecued for a while, so I'm gonna find something to eat. down there by the cities uh, they were saying don't be traveling because it was all freezing rain and stuff again it was all icy Melissa has a horrible headache this morning, so I took over all of the cooking duties. It's getting nasty out here with that wind. Lunch is almost done. Well, it's more than lunch. I cooked enough meat so we won't have to cook anything most of this week. Let's 
Caesar? Yes, please. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It is crazy windy out right now. I will see you guys on the next video.